Hey guys and welcome to Nomadic Dimitri channel. I've got many questions about running x86 virtual machines on your M1 Mac. I don't even know why guys you approach this question because well obviously I said many many times that I don't really like this idea and I tried before but let's try it again maybe I was wrong maybe I was wrong and maybe it's not that bad so to actually be able to load x86 virtual machines on your m1 mac you just need only one app well that's just the best uh, way possible to run x86 virtual machines on your m1 mac it's a utm right here I have it running and to get there well you need to actually download from the uh, get utm website but guys one thing I want to notice is that uh, you need to go to the gallery page because in the gallery page Page, you need to download a specific template for running x86 images. You need to get the specific one you need because even running x86 virtual machines on M1 Mac is a challenge and <laughs> you need a specific configuration for that. Typically it's not that that specific but you need to actually grab there just uh, to avoid any kind of complication. That's why I got this Windows 7 configuration here. Just download this file, open it and it's gonna open an UTM app guys. So UTM right here. As you can see, there's a Windows 7 image. Let's actually take a look here. So if I go to edit, there's nothing really specific here. Just one thing is that there, there's disk image, which is actually like disk image that contains the Windows 7 hard drive. And then CD DVD image, which is basically the image that you want to load from. So basically CD, CD disk or DVD disk, right? There's also EFI VARS because guys, it's using the UEFI loader, I think, to load stuff there. So if you go to system, show advanced settings, you can see UEFI boot here. The only thing I didn't understood for some reason, it says just one gig of RAM, but running a 64 bit version of Windows on one gig of RAM is not really possible and feasible. That's why I just adjusted this one to four GB. So let's actually go ahead and start the Windows 7 virtual machine, guys. Why Windows 7? Well, because I decided to go with Windows 7 because Windows XP is too old, right? It doesn't make any practical sense to install Windows XP. And it's also just 32 bit, right? Yeah, Windows XP. And then the second reason is that basically Windows 10 has just more specific requirements for running, right? It's just like higher hardware is necessary for running this. So that's why I decided to go with Windows 7 because somewhere in the middle seems to be balanced out. Well, it's not supported anymore, but as you can see, it's still running and you can still use some applications here. First of all, it's loading quite fast, which was a good thing, right? So it's loading quite fast. But guys, that's not the only thing. If you try to open stuff here, well, it seems to be opening more or less. Okay, but just take a look. Even opening Notepad took a while. Well, now let's press the start button. Oh, all right. So it took some time. Okay, let's just open more apps. So 7-zip I have installed right here. It's open just quite fast, but as you can see it's not that perfect oh my gosh it's not that perfect so opening stuff doesn't seem like fluid at all <laughs> so as you can imagine that there's also internet explorer running right here and internet explorer is like outdated and uh, i do not recommend it running but as you can see well internet explorer is basically the browser which you use to download other browsers right it was always historically like, like this and internet explorer gonna be gone in just like six months entirely so we're not gonna gonna worry about this uh, okay internet explorer 11 my gosh just so so slow let's actually try to open youtube here youtube.com I also installed Yandex, which is like the browser um, Russian from the Russian search engine company. But again, it's just like just a Firefox, which is uh, specifically compiled for Russian market, I guess, <laughs> mostly. And as you can see, please update your browser, All right? So we're gonna go with Yandex then. Let's go ahead and see how it works. Yeah, I have my video right here. I already tried to open something on YouTube. Guys, as you can see, it's, it's trying to load something. It's trying to load. It's not really loading. I mean, I've tried multiple times to load anything here. It doesn't really work. And one thing I wouldn't notice here, guys, is that installation instruction has one thing here. It has after installation, download the Spice tools I saw. You need those tools guest tools for your virtual machine to be able to use graphical acceleration and all that stuff in my experience as you can see guys it's really like it's not really usable but yeah as you can see quite slow the, the problem with the tools at, uh, at the end of the installation I think it just failed basically it was asking me to install specific drivers for this uh, hardware which is like virtual hardware right but it never succeeded it was just always failing failing over and over and again so I was not able to get it as you can see YouTube is trying to load but even opening simple apps takes a while and I'm not even talking about opening YouTube it's just like super slow here is how it's working I mean it's not really manageable not really usable 
and uh, yeah, I don't recommend using it. So what's my conclusion, guys? Yes, you can install Windows 7, uh, basically x86-64 version on your M1 Mac on, using the UTM. It's not gonna be working that well. <laughs> you can try to go with Windows XP, but Windows XP is just like too outdated. And yeah, you can use it, I guess, for some purposes, but not really that much. And I really don't think it's gonna be usable for games, uh, same like as Windows 7. And this emulation kind of translation layer from uh, your ARM chip to x86 chip is just taking a lot of resources and that's not really usable and well as you can see it's not really feasible all right guys thank you for watching this video i hope it was useful for you if you want you can try and see how it works for yourself i don't know that's that's my experience let me know if i'm missing something and let me know if you got better experience or maybe you're using specific tools to be able to load faster all right guys thank you and bye bye